Hi everybody, this is Dave with Two Wired Too Tired. Here today is to tell you a little bit about the jam stick, which is a, um, a MIDI, a, a musical instrument digital interface that works with your iPad. You can see it right here. It's small, it's compact, um, smaller than your average guitar obviously, but what's great about that is it is portable, you can take it anywhere with you. And what I think is great about the, about the jam stick is it's great for, it, it comes with a number of apps on the iPad where it's excellent for newbies learning how to play and we're going to go over a couple of the uh, things on the Jamstick real quick so it has a USB port for charging a output line where you can uh, plug headphones in there too as well power button, directional pad which we'll get into that a little bit later which just gives you more options for more musical notes you can see it's a six string guitar set up and along with one, two, three, four, five, six frets for playing. You can actually hear that in the background coming off the iPad. So what we're going to do here is Logan's going to demonstrate for us a little bit um, about ease of use, and we're going to go over one of the quick lessons that Jamstick offers on one of the apps for the iPad. So here you go, buddy, if you can hold that. And we are going to go, see, there's Logan. <laughs> going to go on the iPad here. Go to Jam Jam Tutor Lessons, and you can see it starts getting started with just getting to know your Jam Stick, single notes, chords, and as as you build up your uh, comfort level and skill level with it, it gets more advanced. So we're going to go into one of the basic ones here. And I really like how they actually take time to talk with you, explain to it, so it's great for beginners. When the neck of the jam stick appears on the screen, we call it fret display. It's oriented as if your jam stick were sitting in your lap with the thickest string closest to you and the thinnest string is furthest away. Cues for your fingers look like ovals with white diagonal lines. When your fingers are positioned... So they get pretty in-depth as to how to go about using the jam stick properly. If you are and the color it's great for kids learning how to well, first learning how to play the, play the guitar and it's also great for adults who have never played whenever possible we call it the finger assignments it works like this when fretting a single note in the first fret use your index finger when fretting a single note in the second fret, yeah. why don't you do one bub when fretting a single note in the third how do you, how do you hold the pick for the jam stick when fretting a single note in the fourth fret use your pinky that's right perfect when Try to use the finger assignments rule as much as possible. There are exceptions, but keeping your hand in proper position as often as possible. Will oh, help so you this is fretting for playing the different point. tunes or different notes. While you remember to maintain the proper finger assignments, it's important that you fret the strings of your jam stick properly. When and the finger positioning is something that Logan's been working on. And I actually thought we were showing off the individual notes. So I think that just shows I have fat fingers on here. <laughs> So here's the single note setup, and actually, you know, and we're gonna go and show. There's a number of apps that work with the Jamstick, and another really cool thing about the Jamstick, how it works, is since it is a digital input or a musical instrument digital input, you can actually use it with a number of apps, um, like GarageBand, and you can play. And you, you can actually use the guitar to make all sorts of different sounds. You can see one of the other Jamstick apps. If you go to different sounds that it has, you see you got your classical acoustic guitar. You can give it a strum here, low. And then you can go to <laughs> make a harp sound. The good old banjo. <laughs> and and there's a couple more. This our favorite one is actually the square wave. Give this one a try. <laughs> and just like a real guitar, if you hold, hold the strings down, actually can stop the, stop the sound from playing. So. Like I said, Jamstick is great for beginners. There's a whole lesson course for how you can get better on it, how you can improve, and how you can learn to play the guitar. 
and with having different inputs and available with different apps you can actually play a lot of different play a lot of different apps get a lot of different sounds out of it and have a lot of fun so logan why don't you rock out and take us out <laughs> so like you can see it's pretty durable it's a cool setup it's portable so it's great for beginners and it's great for the experienced uh, experienced guitar player you can take it with take it with you on the road and have some fun check out a full review on two wired two tired and have a great day